I was recently thinking about this. Somebody was asking me to write something with regards to pastors. And I, and I thought about the reality about living in disappointment for a while. And sometimes pastors live in disappointment. And the reason why I think we live in disappointment, I know it's been true in my life, is because I have God in a box about how he's supposed to work or what he's supposed to do, especially when it comes to church. Because that's my life. You know, that's what I do, okay? And, and I've come to the conclusion, God doesn't work in my box. God transcends my box. I can't define him. And what he chooses to do, he chooses to do. And what has that got to do with you? Well, think about what's going on in your life. Maybe it's something at work. Maybe it's something in your family. Maybe something with a family member. Maybe it's a health issue. Maybe it's a financial issue. Maybe it's some kind of thing or another. But here you are. You've got whatever going on in your life. You're, you're wrestling with this. You're trying to figure it out. But there's a part of you that, you that is because you're a believer in Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit is within you. You are wanting God to do something because you realize in your heart he's the only one who can. But the problem is, is you're disappointed. Why are you disappointed? Because so many times before you thought you had to figure it out about how God should act and he didn't do it your way. So you gave up. You gave up praying. You gave up trusting. You gave up having faith. Because when you look around, the world's going to pot. This is happening here. All this is happening. Things are bearing down on you and everything. And where's God? And it's the God you defined in your box. But he doesn't live in your box. He isn't in your box. He's beyond your box. And what he's calling you to is just have faith in him and let him do what he's doing. And trust him. Trust him. And I guess that's what I'm trying to tell you. Quit putting him in a box. Give him the issue and trust him. Now, will he call you to maybe do something? Yeah, probably, most likely. But be at least sensitive to him to what he's calling you to do. And sometimes what he's calling you to do, can I be honest with you, may seem totally crazy to you. Like rubbing a blind man's eyes with a mud pie and telling him to go wash in a pool. That makes sense. It does to God. And he did it. So trust him. Trust him with your issue. Trust him with your thing. It may not happen overnight. It may not happen this week. It may not even happen this year. But eventually God is going to do what God's going to do. And you need to trust him. That's what he's calling us to.